Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of low-pass filters using an RC circuit. In this video, we aim to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of how this circuit works by using a circuit simulator to visualize the input and output waveforms on a scope. The circuit we'll be examining consists of two key components, a resistor, 187 ohms, and a capacitor, 10 microfarads, that are connected in series. This arrangement is known as an RC circuit, which is a fundamental building block in electronics. Specifically, we'll be utilizing the RC circuit as a low-pass filter, which is a type of filter that permits low-frequency signals to pass through while attenuating higher-frequency signals. To accurately demonstrate the behavior of the low-pass filter, we will be employing a circuit simulator, which is a software tool that emulates the operation of real-world circuits. This simulator enables us to observe the input and output waveforms and gain valuable insights into how the circuit responds to varying frequencies. During the simulation, we have set the sweep time to 100 milliseconds. This means that the frequency sweep will gradually progress from 20 Hz to 1 kHz over a span of 100 milliseconds. By doing so, we can effectively capture and analyze the circuit's behavior over time as the frequency changes. Additionally, we have set the maximum voltage to 5 volts, ensuring that the signals generated within the simulation remain within a safe operating range. On the screen in front of you, we have the circuit simulator running, and we have connected a scope to both the input and output of the circuit. This scope allows us to visualize and compare the input and output waveforms simultaneously. The input signal represents the original waveform that we are feeding into the circuit, while the output signal represents the resulting waveform after it has passed through the low-pass filter. As the frequency sweep progresses, you will notice a fascinating phenomenon occurring within the circuit. At the lower end of the frequency spectrum, particularly around the 20 Hz range, the low-frequency components of the input signal pass through the circuit virtually unaltered, retaining their original amplitude. This behavior is expected since the low-pass filter allows low-frequency signals to pass through without significant attenuation. However, as we move higher up the frequency range, towards the 1 kHz mark, you will observe a distinct change in the output waveform. The amplitude of the output signal starts to decrease gradually, indicating that the higher frequencies are being attenuated or filtered out by the RC circuit. This attenuation occurs due to the interaction between the resistor and capacitor in the circuit, as we'll explain in more detail. To understand the behavior of the low-pass filter in the RC circuit, we need to delve into the electrical properties of the components involved. The resistor, characterized by its resistance value of 187 ohms, provides a predictable opposition to the flow of current. On the other hand, the capacitor, with its capacitance of 10 microfarads, is a reactive component that can store and release electrical charge. When an alternating current AC, signal is applied to the input of the RC circuit, it encounters the resistor and capacitor. At low frequencies, the capacitor has sufficient time to charge and discharge fully during each cycle of the input signal. As a result, it behaves as a relatively short circuit for these frequencies, allowing the signal to pass through with minimal attenuation. However, as the frequency increases, the time available for the capacitor to charge and discharge diminishes. At high frequencies, the capacitor is unable to fully charge or discharge before the next cycle begins. This limited charging and discharging time leads to a reduction in the capacitor's ability to pass the AC signal effectively. As a result, the amplitude of the output signal decreases, indicating that the higher frequency components are being attenuated or filtered out by the RC circuit. This behavior can be further understood by considering the concept of reactance. Reactance is the opposition that a capacitor presents to the flow of AC current and is frequency dependent. At low frequencies, the reactance of the capacitor is relatively high, allowing more current to flow through it. However, as the frequency increases, the reactance decreases, impeding the flow of current and resulting in a voltage drop across the capacitor. The voltage drop across the capacitor, in combination with the resistor in the circuit, forms a voltage divider. This voltage divider proportionally attenuates the higher frequency components of the input signal, 
while allowing the lower frequency components to pass with minimal attenuation. Consequently, the output signal exhibits a gradual decrease in amplitude as the frequency increases. It is important to note that the point at which the attenuation becomes significant and the transition between the past and attenuated frequencies occur is determined by the values of the resistor and capacitor in the circuit. In this specific case, with a 187 ohm resistor and a 10 microfarads capacitor, the cutoff frequency can be calculated using the formula. Cutoff frequency equals 1 slash 2 pi into R into C. Substituting the values, we find that the cutoff frequency is approximately 848 Hz. Frequencies below the cutoff frequency are passed with minimal attenuation, while frequencies above the cutoff are progressively attenuated. In conclusion, the low pass filter implemented using an RC circuit demonstrates the ability to allow low frequency signals to pass through while attenuating higher frequency signals. By utilizing the interaction between the resistor and capacitor, the circuit effectively filters out unwanted frequencies. This property makes the RC circuit a valuable tool in various applications, such as audio processing, signal conditioning, and communications. We hope that this detailed explanation has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of how the low-pass filter operates in an RC circuit. Remember to explore different resistor and capacitor values to customize the cutoff frequency according to your specific application requirements. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content on electronics and circuitry. Stay tuned and see you next time.